So here we have five parallel rays of light. And if in the way I put a converging lens, uh, that means all the light refracts in here and it all meets at a point over here called the focal point. So this is also called a convex lens. Now, I guess the opposite to this is what we call a diverging lens. So a diverging lens, as the light goes through it, it all diverges and then starts to spread out. Um, also called a concave lens. So a converging lens close up, it can be used as a magnifying glass, but when the object is further away, what we then see is an upside down real image. Whereas if you have a diverging lens, and this is what uh, a lot of you might have in your glasses, um, if, especially if you're short sighted, uh, what we see here is that um, close up objects appear to be um, the right way up, but a lot smaller. So firstly, with a converging lens, we can represent it with a double headed arrow like this. Now there's going to be a point where all um, parallel rays of light converge at one point, uh, which we're going to call the focal point. And if we just draw the lines in, we see something like this. And I've just drawn these with a ruler and put an arrow to show which way they're going. Now this is very different to what happens with a diverging lens. So um, to represent it as diverging, I'm going to put these arrows Sort of arrow heads a bit like this to sort of show that it's thinner in the middle and fatter at the end if you sort of see what I'm trying to get at, get at here. So with this one here um, what you have you still have a focal point but in this case the focal point is going to be on the left hand side and this is where the diverging rays appear to diverge from. So I'll just draw that in and that should make a little bit more sense. So the rays appear to diverge from this point and effectively if I was to follow a line back from this ray of light I'm going to do this as a dotted line to show that it's not actually a real ray of light. It's basically what we call like a virtual ray that appears to come from this point. Um, this is kind of how we get to the focal point for that. So that's pretty much it. We've got a converging lens at the top and at the bottom a diverging lens. So there'll be a few more videos now that talk about how we actually work out where the images are formed in both of these sorts of lenses.